Oh, you guys are mics are turned off. All right, just getting started here. I'm live now. So we've got how many people in chat? Five people. Great. Yeah. Hell yeah. What's VC chat? What does that mean? I think you, it just means voice chat. Oh, voice chat. Gotcha. I think they're just waiting until we get started, maybe. Talk. Did you want to, uh, uh, I guess, Steam invite me? Or... Uh, Are you hosting? Well, right now we're trying to figure out what what modes to turn on because uh oh gotcha. captain's saying he doesn't really like hacking i don't re i don't mind it but if he wants to play without hacking that's fine mm -hmm. okay well uh, what yeah. i was saying is like i don't get to play multiplayer much so i was curious on the state of the game how it is in vanilla but if he wants to turn off hacking i'm fine I'm fine with it. hello i'll talk for a bit yo what's up sorry i have the not very good mic again <laughs> I'm gonna watch your stream hedge, but I'm, I'm not gonna not gonna look at it. I'm just gonna give you a little viewer boost. <laughs> okay, that sounds good. Minimize. Yeah, you can watch it if you want. I don't care. No, 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 no. I, I like to play fair. <laughs> Wait, are is this uh, like a free for all that we're doing here? Um, um with this many yeah, people, I depends, I'd say yeah. we should start with no plans of an alliance. But if it develops okay. later, I'd be cool with that. Man, I've never played with this many people. That's cool. Yeah, it's really great. Me neither. I think as we start playing, we can like develop some like house rules to like make things mm -hmm. on a That'd be cool even with that. playing field. But like right now, I don't know if we should start with any rules other than like turning stuff off. So then we can like play around with it and see. Yeah. Because I bet someone's going to do something that's broken, and I'm, I'm going to be like, oh, okay, that's, that's, that's cool. But if I use a... Could I use a custom faction, but not, um, not like, crap cheat, just change political parties? Uh, I'm okay with it, but I like okay. I like everything to be vanilla, but if you want to do it... Just I just it. like playing industrial vaulters. Industrial vaulters. What do they start out as a scientist? Yeah, they're science. I hate science. <laughs> um, Can you see yeah, my shirt? Fine. Let me see. Is that Cobbs? Can you see my shirt, Cobbs? Science. <laughs> <laughs> I is can't. It, I'm not watching your stream. So oh, that's okay. to not cheat. My shirt says science. It's all about science. Mm -hmm. Science will save the Earth. I just watched this grim movie yesterday called uh, Anera. It's a Swedish movie mm -hmm. on Hulu. And oh, it's yeah. about like humans leaving Earth. It's barren, right? It's like brown. And they're going to Mars to colonize it. And it's been happening. And it's like this huge ship that's like a luxury cruise ship. Like you would go on, on the oceans. You have like restaurants and tennis courts and like bars and stuff like that. But it got knocked off course and stuff gets super grim. And, oh God. That Sounds movie. cool. It was good though. Um, it's good. It's on Hulu if you guys wanted to watch it. Oh, okay. I'm designing a sci-fi universe, but I'm not sure Nice man, do it. Ooh, I all I want to see more of this as it gets further along. Oh, definitely. Uh, somebody, <clears throat> somebody make the game. Okay. Um, should I make it? Sure. sure. Go ahead. I don't think I'm friends with everybody that's in our chat though on Steam. I can invite. I have them friended. Okay. They, they posted their. Or at least, uh, oh, good. they did. 
So as long as I invite you to the game, you can then invite them? I think so. That's okay. how it's worked in other games. Sure. Let's do it. Have you guys heard about the the Dune movie coming out? Oh yeah, I can't wait for the Yeah, I'm really excited cuz the director uh, Denis Villeneuve, he's he's good. Yeah. And he totally. has every movie he's always like great. So he can do no wrong. So I'm like <laughs> super psyched about this movie. I really like The Arrival. It's one of my favorite sci-fi films. Arrival? From, oh yeah. Yeah, from a, a couple of years back. I really enjoyed that too. And I was I was against the Blade Runner remake, but he actually made it work. So yeah, he did a great job. I'm like, okay, it. this is good. This is a good movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dune will be great. I wonder. I've seen a couple people on the ZBrush forums post uh, like concepts of sandworms, but I don't know if I don't know who's actually designing those. Uh, it's definitely I'm someone going from in. the ZBrush community, though. I'm going to go in as blank as possible because I'm on this like new kick where I'll watch 10 seconds of a trailer and then I'll just stop. Because trailers are just broken. I feel like they give everything away, so I just watch it and I'm like, okay, I'm sold, and that's it. <laughs> I don't even want to see the Oh, yeah, the work. yeah, totally, I just want to be I maxed up. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm ready. I think we should lock our positions, right? So then if we get kicked, we don't lose our position. Is that how it works? I remember doing that for Lent, for Endless Legends. I can't lock my guy. Yeah, I don't know how, how that's done. The only, the only way to... That would be like locking a an AI so somebody couldn't join. Basically. Mm -hmm. I feel like one of them should be locked, right? Because we have five total. Or we could just do five players and have no AI. That might be better. Uh, probably a medium galaxy size. Recommended for six players. Mm -hmm. I generally stick with sort of the default settings, but I'd like to hear what you guys are interested in playing. I I don't like playing custom factions either. I think they're broken, so I don't I stick to vanilla. But I don't care if you guys play customs. I'm fine if it's not like changing the race so much then I just don't remember their strengths and weaknesses and I oh, gotta like relearn everything. That is the problem because you, if you make them custom then they will change significantly. Mm. So. Well, um, Captain was just talking about changing the affinity and I guess that's, all, that's fine with me. Uh, yeah, normal's fine for now. Okay. I remember when I played in those legends, I had fun playing with like limited or like few resources because that made like all the choices more important. So you don't have like yeah, 200, 200 uh, glass and all that. So I could I could do that if you guys want. No, nah, no, nah, let's let's Is see that... how it flows. Okay. Otherwise, it's all set to the normal like normal anomaly frequency, normal curiosity, normal resource abundance. Um. Yeah. Ooh, normal pirates. Oh, what what a breather. Normal pirates. <laughs> See, Cobbs is coming in. He looks like he's in. So he should be able to invite people now. Mm-hmm. Oh, I found a good, I don't know if any of you guys that are watching um, do video editing. There's a great free video editing uh, compressor or, that has reduced the size of my YouTube video significantly. Really great. It's called Handbrake. That sounds cool. Like my my three hour sculpting videos, they were around seventeen gigabytes, and I was thinking, how do I 
how do I get it up on YouTube in any feasible amount of time? It was taking like two to two and a half days to upload. So I got it down after compressing them, they're down to like 1.5 gigs. Oh, really? It took you that long? Hmm. Yeah, for, remember for a 17 gig video? Yeah. Because I would stream. <clears throat> I would stream on Twitch like Total Warhammer and it would be like a long session, like hours and hours. And then once I'm done, I felt like it was on my YouTube channel like really fast. I don't know if there's like a setting you might have missed, maybe. Do you hmm. record it on your computer and also stream? Because I just stream it. Multiple and back that, that... Multiple what? back bands. What are you cool. doing over there? One of the guys that I just invited. Uh -oh. I don't know, man. Who so I, I, inv I invited him. I'll play with you, cheater. You too. Hello, everyone. Hello. What's up? Who's this? Paga? Paga. Paga Trades. Paga Trades? Oh, we're just talking about Dune. Right. Yeah. I'm the Pug from June. I just need Acro. Are you Acro or are you Buy That? Yeah. That's, okay. That's me. I just need Buy That Alti. Uh, accept. My invite, and I'll get you invited. Oh, he's in here. Okay. <laughs> Just need acro. Or Pugga. So set my, I've got a friend invite that I sent your way. So just accept it and then I'll invite you. Or, and then you'll enter into my game. Okay. Some tunes going. I noticed that you friended me, Saikana. <laughs> Does Saikana want to play too? I think she's still at work. Oh, okay. So I don't think they'd be able to. Gotcha. Okay. So are we we're all set then, huh? I think so. Are you ready, MA? I don't know what to call you. Yeah, just start with type them. ready, type ready in chat, and uh, yeah, it's okay. Chat. You just gotta not make it unfair. Oh wait, I don't know how to read that. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I see. <laughs>
Hit ready when you're good, MA. <clears throat> Okay, Sedge, it's just you. Here we go. I'm just... <clears throat> you guys ready for the desyncs? Oh boy, so I'm so excited. <laughs> Are we all US? Hopefully it won't be too bad if we're all US. No, sorry, I'm not. Oh Where no. Are you, Are you North you American at the very least? Oh, I, no. <laughs> I play quite frequently. Probably more than I want to. <laughs> I haven't played much, but I've often had trouble, so... Let's see. Oh, we're playing with hacking? Oh no. I got a solar system with four ocean planets on it. Oh, it's amazing. There's no way I'm not moving to that. <clears throat> oh, no. What? What happened? We're all almost the same color, except for whoever's light blue. <laughs> nice. This is gonna be... At least it's not as bad as Endless Legend, where there were like, three different shades of orange that were the same. Play a sound every time I mute and unmute. That'd be terrible. No, there's no sound. Okay, phew. Just wait in 10 turns, it's gonna be uh, 10 minute turns.
Imagine owning a solar system. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> still didn't find a home. I'm still three turns away. But I'll get that juicy uh, bonus. <laughs> it didn't switch. Oh no. What we do here is go back, back, back. Science picture that is 30 trains? I don't know. Really? 30 trains? Thirty turns for what? A science picture, you say. <laughs> oh no. Welcome to the Saf- Oh, you got the 
got aggro of the Sophons, he's coming to scout us out. So we're probably, we probably didn't spawn very far from him. system here. Meaning that after these two techs, go for the pep scale, pep scale accelerators. Pretty bad start. Got no strategic. The good thing, though, having about having Transvun on our systems is that taking these cold systems will be a lot easier. We lock that into our fire plan, like the system here. Taking a hot system will be easier. But look at this. Death Rick, how's it going, man? We're off to a multiplayer game here. We've got five players from the community. If you play, we have a Discord channel that you can join. I don't know if you're already in our our Discord. So we'll try and get you into the next <laughs> Next, so we'll be getting Pevkale, Pev scale accelerators. We want Baryonic Shield. So that we can get free movement. 
<clears throat> More important than getting this supermarket up is getting a second settler out. It's good. Hedonic on that arid. Going for that. Get our hero back. It's ample. Also intensive cultivation. More important than uh, getting those supermarkets out, actually. As long as we're content, collect our food. And this will push us up into happy, the happy threshold, so... I mean, unless I stop one of our claws, I don't want to do that. Oh no, what luck. Terrible luck. Both of these just spawned as pirates. <laughs> uh. I literally have like it spawned the turn before I could get uh, my settler down there. Look at this, it's terrible. Uh, I need... I need more probes out so I can see what's around here. I might be able to jump over to a good system that's right next to us. This is barren and ice. That sucks. How's everyone doing? I never play on fast because I just play alone on normal speed, so I'm not used to how fast everything's going. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is done. Oh, this is done. <laughs> We have our first election here. I don't want to vote for the ecologists. I want scientists to get into power. They have good early laws for expansion. They pair well with our industrialist law. Finally, a stream for this game. Jay Wody says, Yeah, man, thanks for the follow, too. We're doing a multiplayer game here. We've got five people from the community. Uh, it's been good. I've been streaming this game uh, for a couple weeks now. Off and on. I also do art. Kind of switch back and forth between amplitude games and, and doing sculpting. Okay. Raw. Couple probes out this way. We know there has to be a system. I could settle on this arid now, which I, I'm pretty much forced to do. Move him back. Get there this turn. Yeah, true. Oh, excellent. We have Jade Onyx. And I want to think about going early military. 
tech that I need is right here, ubiquitous surveillance. For the delivery gear, and if I get five scouts that are modded, with that I can easily take out any pirate death. Fortunately, I don't have there's no strategics around. It. Sell off. We're in a very area situation. Unless I can find a system. We have a few hundred hours in Solaris and a few dozen in the first endless space. The second endless space is a, is a masterpiece. I have Solaris too, but I play this a lot more. Let's send a probe out this way. Hopefully this pirate will pass here. Wody asks, uh, are there mods for ES2? Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. In fact, right now, uh, in chat, Captain Cobbs, who messaged above you, he, uh, he's actually a modder, so. And there's, there's quite a, quite a large number of mods for this game. A lot more than I thought. Although the base game is fantastic enough that I haven't found kind of a I haven't found a need or want to to get any, but Cobbs is kind of uh, showed me a couple that are interesting. Change gameplay, kind of expand on what's already there. I feel like. And because we have no strategics going going into military is what we have to do. I'm just trying to decide how we get there. Just in one turn. Might go efficient shielding right after that. So our research is complete. We got to the next tier of military. Meaning our CP is higher. On fleet CP is higher. We're at 7 instead of 5 now. Six turns until more pirates spawn out of here. I need... I need three more patrols, really. Before we do that... Modern. We want that 
that manpower. Substantially increases the cost. You really need buy a like to buy a couple of uh, beds. I could buy this out with him. Since we have no miners nearby, minor factions of that. And then. Yeah, and then I can mob them back. I have the dust to do it too. He's saying you're in a tough spot, Sid. Cobra Mob. Very aware of it. <laughs> that you're gonna die now? Possibly. Ooh. Yeah, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Actually, be fine. Don't mob this. See how much that costs. We can afford it for four So we're gonna do that. Our manpower is immediately plummeting. That's fine. Returns will have more. This scout actually can keep going because we have baryonic shielding. I'm gonna have this guy fly over this way. Eleven turns. Holy moly! Oh, that's because this isn't modded. So we need to get back to our home system, and then I'll put better engines. In yeah, one's real slow. Be able to get there faster. You are in quite a tight spot. Though. I have no idea who's in this constellation. This is the beginning of the Academy quest. You get a lot of titanium. It's actually really worth trying to get for us. You have a lot of scouts. But after I take over this system here, we're gonna follow up with a peddler there. I think on this turn we can move out because, yeah, our manpower is fine. Should be able to take this one. So in five turns we'll get there. We have Star Boogie, which I think I'll pack. If we can afford. Yeah. Twelve. Twelve a turn. Upkeep. That'll reduce the time it takes this fleet. This one here. Now we're getting there in three instead of five turns.
And that's why this getting going scientist early is so good. <clears throat> For expansion. Also, science for the win. So fun to put over here. Kind of planets we have. Oh, it's got a hot planet on its own system. We need to go for the steps tech too. I want that before. Getting upgraded halls is not as big of an issue because we have an early scout fleet out. We'll get there in four turns. Good. Money's up now. This colony ship is gonna go to Thea. Thea. Because this is a great system. So, peak wear is done. We reached 800 manpower capacity. We have 10% damage on ships. We wanna go for Petra because she's a seeker. We'll help with early attacks and also early expansion. We're at a deficit now, um, but I do want. Gotta move over to Super Taxi. Probably next turn. Oh. Raise these guys a little. Search one of their anomalies so that it... <clears throat> we can gain some favor with them. Ooh, and we got the Vault of Governance. That is a really good pickup for our capital. Send a fleet here. We'll do. Meaning, I should send a probe this way. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. A little bit. I just want the, I know I probably won't be able to compete against the Sofon, but I want the gold um, dust. This settler. This way. We need one more because there's probably at least a couple of... Let's... Once again, disfavor infinite supermarkets and get another settler out. And our fleet will start engaging pirates. Turn. Settler will get there in two turns. And this planet is just fantastic. Look at that. 15 influence. For pop. But, I mean, that's... I mean, 10 food and 8 production per pop. So good. Oh, what's... Are you asking me what my favorite faction is, Deathrick? It's the United Empire. Which I am playing right now.
I like their faction quest the best because it's branching. And you get there's spoilers here, but you're gonna make a choice at some point, which changes your faction fundamentally. They can become different types of people depending on what you choose. Right, so we can invade here. We're gonna take Star Boogie off. Put on Super Tax. That'll even out our dust production. And. Let's see, do we have access to the market yet? We don't. So I'll just invade and we'll bomb them. Preemptive bombing. Minor victory. Oh, you saw that. You saw the UC in the tutorial? Yeah. Bojani is awesome. It's a really cool faction. I like their ship bound trait. They just fly around in the arcs. really important so that because these are temperate so they both get the bonuses from two of our buildings you know industrial infrastructure every time I colonize one of those planets I'll get 20 production and I'll get 20 science building but we want to get on there as fast as we can we also might have titanium here meaning yeah, let's colonize first and then search there. We're gonna choose this one because we're in desperate need of strategic. Great, so we took that layer. And we'll turtle against them. Win. Layer's gone and next two turns we'll colonizing. And let's... In another couple turns I'll move up here and try and take these... Move off this way. Colonize here. Let you watch this video. This is a unique planet, that's why the resource production is so high. Chief being the huge amount of things that you can take on. Aeonha? Aeonha? And we'll praise the support the scientists. Our secondary party, and we'll we'll just continue moving towards this constellation here. See if we can get our another colony in this direction. It's gonna put a lot of strain on our on our home system, but. we just need more systems. Great, so we completed that, giving us a lot more titanium. There's probably going to be pirates that spawn.
Did I did we disable the hacking mechanic? We did for sake of speed. Multiplayer. At least that's why I have it disabled. In a future playthrough we may enable it. But we can't take these guys on, we do have to retreat to battle. Um, and we will get on this very planet. Yeah, it's not that I... I mean, there's aspects of hacking that I don't enjoy, but it's not... It's mostly because of this, the speed and the time that it takes to hack. It adds another layer of micromanagement that, in a big multiplayer le game like this, I just, doesn't really meld with it very well. But we'll get the market in two turns. I see you. Can't boost this yet because we don't have the market. Yeah, come into mine lands unannounced. Yeah? Why are you knocking around? See, how is this we do? It's not really recovering its manpower very fast after that invasion. Normally it, it would. So we want enhanced astro navigation, which will give really fast movement to our free movement to our ships and better vision. Because she's going to be used to colonize in places normally difficult. Probably sci-fi design. See ya, 250. Out of my house, man. What does he have? He's at... He's got short range. Put a power to shields. Got a victory, so we'll force him back. We don't want him on our system as we're trying to colonize here. But we're gonna rush the market so that I can immediately start using that Jadonic. I think we want Jadonics instead of Transvine. We have a lot more Transvine. Yeah, you're a better choice. I'll actually get it. Uh, I could also buy Jada. Need just seven to get another system upgrade, so that's perfect because eight. This also means that we fell off under it. Two upgrades next turn. And we also need 250 so we can rush colonization there. But I will sell off all the transvine I have. Bring that down to 
turn. I want to think about getting Baron Tech. Right over here. Need bad efficient shopings. Don't know if it's so fun. Back us. They're at a big disadvantage in terms of. Fuse. I want to pressure him. Petra's unassigned. You could put her here. I don't have great options for colonization. I can't really see what's out there yet. We could possibly fly her over this direction. For colonize. But in the meantime, I'll just stick her here. He gets this experience from all the buildings. I could do exoscience, but we only get, we'll only get one one per pop. I would like to get xenology. Well, this is just good, really good for a spin project. place will be really easy and what we want to do here give me a second here okay what we want to do here is stage a fleet that has laser weapons and hull and hulls Plating, all plating, and if somebody tries to come at us, if they have any shields, they won't be effective at all. And we can blockade this area. They'd have to fly around us. Why is this not moving? I could have sworn it was here last turn. Do we desync? Hope not. Want to rush this? Gives us three less turns to get there. Happiness isn't that great. Isn't that dust for faster expansion. So we'll leave that law on. And this subterranean should reveal either a titanium, a hyperium, helium. We'll do interplanetary transport after that to get us more production. And then probably sustainable farms on it too. That'll put our capital in that spot. And the turn there. You can see over to the right here on stream, if it's an open circle, that means that player is still playing their turn out. If it's a closed circle, they've hit end turn. Just waiting on the Ruby player and the Orange player to if you've never played multiplayer before. Might not know that, and I didn't know that until I started playing just a couple weeks ago, having played this game for since the beta, actually. I just love the interface elements, like they've done a really good job. All of that even in multiplayer. It's really We'll get efficient shielding next, and then we're moving into adaptive bureaucracies so that we can get that other system.
that also means... Right, we got our ball. And antimatter is there. That was not expected. We want to support the scientists here. Really don't like this. Uh, minus 15% production on Empire for 10 turns. Unless you're really trying to force the religious party in, it just doesn't make sense to do that. settler next year. We'll get out in the same turn. Ooh, we've got some uh, harsh words in chat. Uh, let's, let's force these pirates off. I really don't want them there. We're gonna praise both of these guys here. Remnants I really like, Dust is always good, Production is always good, and minus 10% Wonder cost on systems, so that really pairs well with our faction. Uh, the Amoeba are a great faction as well, the Assimilation trait is really good for the late game. When oh, nobody found the, uh, when your food the academy yet. <laughs> food from production is really good, but it's especially good in the late game because that food then can be transferred back into production. So. Three turns for Peonha, and nine turns here. Have to pick this up, looks much better. It really is a lot better. Um, there's a whole system of politics, as you can see here. We're a federation, so, and we have both of the heroes that are in the parties that are represented, meaning that if we do get any of the hero skills, which show on Senate, then we'll get all of those bonuses as well. You know, there's a market for trading, there's a whole amazing tech tree. One of the really cool parts of Endless Space, in my opinion, is you have a radial tech tree instead of tech tree that might be linear. So, I feel like it's a lot more flexible that way. <laughs> Got harsh words and threats in chat. <laughs> Tech Tree is amazing. Yeah, man, I can't say enough good things about it. You know, if only all... This is also present in Endless Legend, but you can type... You can search for a tech down here. Type keyword, or even part of a tech. Say I want man manpower. Or, um... Let's see, CP, maybe? And then you can click there, and it'll show you a tech that relates to it. Something like food. And I want more food. So if I zoom out, I can see all of the text highlighted that, that relate to food. Or, uh... Text that relate to titanium, for example. So it's very flexible. Right, we can get on Fortis now. And we unlocked another law slot. So we'll 
probably move into uh, Toys for Boys. Oh, nice. You're leveled up. It's our, uh, got plenty of info. Would like some more science. Get that plus 30 science. The Empire welcome. The choice is really between production and science. I want production. Uh oh. Done. Academy is discovered. Decisive victory there, and we will invade. Before we do that, though, I want to upgrade my troops. So you do that in here, and go to my infantry, upgrade their health. I can even upgrade their damage, which I will do. Lock that in, and that'll be available this turn for this invasion. Go ahead and do that, preemptive bomb. Minor victory, it'll probably take a couple turns. Guys, I'll be right back, I'm just gonna hit the bathroom. Grab something to drink, and uh, see you in a second. And I'm back. Yeah. Oh no, I wanted to run away from that. Shoot. Where was that? That was here on Saratoga. The Empire welcomes Black, all those Cloud. who share its ideals. Do you? We're gonna pressure him and tell him to halt attacks. You're a sly one, aren't you? We'll get evasion. And now I need to consider moving my fleet over there. After this conflict is done. Let's go with got 44. Could use more production, but because we've revealed this, but we can't exploit it. Let's just go for uh, uh here. Send this settler here in three. I go for you. We'll 
go food to dust. Good choice. We don't have a trade company up for that decision tree. There's really only one choice you can make there. Let's see. Probably get strategics from this. Yeah. yeah. That matter. Stay there for this turn. Raise these. 100 influence, that's. 70 is also not worth it. Moving into intergalactic supermarket would be good. Then we'll get beat out here. Better ships, better hulls. <laughs> Patient. And we got Academy Embassy and Spin Project. Again, we want to go for production over. Can't really afford to the dust here, losing dust, but we can afford to lose science for production. Preemptive bombing. Yeah. Great, and we got. We actually got a whole bunch of jade onyx. Where is the retreat? Will do power to shields. We might actually be able to take one of them. Uh, did not. We got close though. Right now, in terms of who's the biggest threat, that yeah. would be the Sofun. Sofun also has access to minor factions, which. and Jadonix. Boy. Definitely within uh, autonomous construction. Although this would be a good time to get up trade seven turns. For Whereas if we went for these two, we could unlock them instead of techs, military, and get higher seat. We'll probably do this first and then move. Down there, turn. We need to immediately move this fleet back. This is the point at which you'll see Seekers are really good. If I am reading this correctly, he's going to try and take Lena or declare war on us. Uh, because he really doesn't like us here, I can see. Force this back here. So if I can get my Seeker with some ships over that way, it would be... Lena is up. And he's... He's already moving. He's moving another ship over there. the academy here in five that these other buildings aren't really worth it for this sounds like a couple probes coming up there 
let's immediately go into modernization. Getting both Xeno Industrial and Public Privates up is good. Kind of our basic infrastructure here. I want to consider rushing Corvettes out too. We can do. We have permanent monsoon here, seismic activity. This is, I think this is the better choice. We don't want increased production, even though it'll take a little while. So we're on both of these systems. The Empire welcomes all He's not sieging us though. Just the station. He has ten CP on on his ships. These are very fast patrol ships, but he has two engines too, and he has no... Well, maybe he just has one of the Hyperium in. Interesting. I like the idea of allying with the Sofon over than allying with my own faction. Great, we're the Sarazen of the Viva and we got we also completed one of our quests. This is one of the best early game buildings of the game. Which it'll net us plus forty production per per system. Because all of our systems are at level two. They're level three. We can afford it, so we'll run three to complete that quest. Yeah? Why are you knocking around? So I'm pr I propose a uh, being an ally with Red. Checking up on us again. Because I know eh? he'll probably be ahead in tech. Will be good because we can then share technology, and I'll be ahead in industry, which means I could defend, help defend us while he gets an advantage. I can use this as a staging system too. We're at the point, though, where we can make a really strong push on either Sofan or, um, or the other UE. See what they say, though. We got our Focus Plasma. Good. 
We should do this selective migration. So I need 15 super splits. I'll go ahead and assist them too. If we can buy them, because we're not currently making any. They're really cheap, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. some of their population us. Trace them again. Yeah, and you can see they're netting us dust. Science. Assist. Let's see, what are people saying? Acro says we'll see Sedge. Hmm. So he's not sure. Getting this antimatter is means pretty much one thing. Be able to afford science buildings, but on top of that, we can afford to get this tech here, which gives you antimatter slots on larger, medium size support chips. So moving into this would be good. I don't yet have a source of adamantium, so this tech is questionable. Very shortly though, I will <laughs> I'm gonna have so much production. Okay, eleven turns there. Seven turns here. And in our capital Because of all, all of our outposts, we're only food. Which is okay, because we wanna focus on expanding out the system. How's everybody doing in chat? Have you guys, uh, you guys got weekend plans? Super Bowl? Not really a sports guy, but... <laughs> Keep being beached, Cobbs. Three five turn. <laughs> We have a Vojani specialist, huh? <laughs> You're gonna kill purple? Well, we'll see about that, huh? I've got some very, uh, schnazzy people near me. I've got a Sofan. I have another UC. So fun. I don't think he liked my early attack. I attacked one of his scout ships and made him bad, I think. I would like to be his ally, though. <laughs> he was panicking. He can panic soon. His capital is extremely close. Doesn't bode well for him. And I know that you, uh, Mr. UC, that clad, his capital has to be somewhere. Probably like right here.
So if I can, once I find it, which will be soon, then I can make uh, more of a strategic decision. I don't have any together. Titanium selling for nothing. People must be selling it on it. I can afford to sell that off. Really, I'm looking. I'm just looking for turn advantage. And the only way I can do that right now by buying, buying out ships. But very shortly, I'll have a really strong. We do want a couple of maybe three escorts. project. Really, it's... I have to wait. God bless Cyan. <laughs> I think I'm Cyan. So we got that, we got that hype here. It might be worth, because we have 40 total. Giving ourselves a better ship evasion and one Here. 
to force this out next turn. We're getting close to the point. Absorb these systems, though. We have no competition. Praise these guys. He's really not gonna like take me. That's a nice system. Look at that. Right, so we're working towards that faction quest. If I go into quests here, you can see. Yeah, maintain three industrialist laws for five turns. And so we only need to maintain that for another two turns. It's 60 Jade Onyx. Jade Onyx is the best tier one luxury in the game, by far. So that's a really good bonus for basically doing what we were already going to. Still need to, let's pin this. To destroy the pirates. Them where here, I can't remember where that was. Around. Yeah, I know this is bad, but I'm thinking about this in terms of strategy. So, if we take the Sofon's capital. We'll get a lot more side, most likely. It's really not very nine population. I would like their population type though. He's not gonna ally with me. <laughs> but fish, he's not much of a threat though, really. And plus, we're already taking both of the minor populations near him, so we'll be pressuring him culturally. Which could also eventually lead to war. Up here with the UC, he's also going to become probably a powerhouse in terms of industry, which is always hard to fight. You're going to use brute force. I don't know. Let's talk to him. Um, ask him if I'll ask the UC if he wants to ally. He might actually, if he does. If he does, <laughs> he'll probably settle this system, which he forced me off. How do you do? Oh, he's wondering how I, how he, how he allies? He doesn't know how to do that? turn here, and nine turns for this. See, we have 850 capacity for manpower on this fleet, which is pretty good. You might want to go for this tech here. So we can do chain gang program. <laughs> 
Cobbs. Oh, Cobbs. Oh, you gotta go in 15? Okay, so we'll probably... I'll save it out just in case we want to, we do want to come back to it, but I couldn't blame you if, I couldn't blame you if you don't want to come back to it. Isn't it fun? Oh, that's too bad. Did you get boxed in, Cobbs? You got boxed in and leached from the sounds of it? Which can be terrible. Essentially, the Vojani, I think that's what happened to Captain Cobbs in here. Captain Cobbs, you had doubled the fleet power of the Vojani. But you got wiped out. Oh man, that sucks, dude. Yeah, so you've pretty much been knocked out. I'm gonna send that cloud uh, request to Ally. <clears throat> Wanted to check my settings, but you do that over here. I'll click the on Empire him. welcomes all those who we share its ideals. Do, we'll do peace first. Do I you? think Ally doesn't come until after a tech. I'll offer him peace. And that'll be good because we want a trade partner. <coughs> so he accepted. Great. Meaning he can't do anything if I try and take this system. <laughs> um, which, so I'll get a colonizer up here. Don't need to do it immediately. Do it in two turns. Cobbs, t let me know um, when you have to go and we'll save it out. Oh no! A sink! That were desync. No! I'm gonna save it immediately. Once this turn ends. Oh, what's happening? Oh, uh, we got a desync knock. Yeah. Yeah, there was a desync. So we're, we're probably going to end it there. Just going to tell the chat. Yeah, guys, there was a desync. So I saved out the game. And uh, we'll, we'll start probably... If you guys are around tomorrow night... I know it's Saturday night, but... If you're around in the evening, maybe even in the early afternoon, maybe we could get together and play again. Although it sounds to me like Cobbs got off to a rough start, so you might want not want to join in <laughs> for the sounds of it. Well, uh, if he doesn't join for tomorrow's game, then we have to continue the game without him, I guess. We could continue it without him, yeah, and just have it like an AI takeover, or you know, somebody else could take over his position if they really wanted to. Well, but yeah, that would be um, fine, too. Yeah. I mean, he's building over there. He just completed what's he just complete, completed wonders. So, I mean. oh, okay. Well, he he expressed the that he wasn't sure that he wanted to continue. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. No, I think he got he got uh, pushed back to, and at such a disadvantage that he didn't want to continue. But we'll I just gotcha. all right. Well, thank you for joining me and. Thanks, guys, for uh, coming on to MP. We'll we'll see if we can continue this tomorrow. Does that sound good? I hope so. I was having fun. Got I was nice. having a great time, too. And we just got yeah, our uh, our alliance in. <laughs> cool. 
Well, we're at peace, my friend. We're well, not, we... uh, you know, <laughs> we're not allies just yet. We're not. We gotta no. go through some talks, you know. Oh boy. Well, they better go well. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I gotta go to your place. You gotta come over to mine. <laughs> well, I didn't okay, realize I had to wine and dine you. Yeah, if you wanna like share my my prosperous territories, of course. <laughs> I'm interested. All right, we'll see how it goes, though. Okay. That was good. All right. If you guys haven't followed, uh, go ahead and hit that follow button, and we'll probably see you tomorrow. If not, have a good night and a good weekend. Talk to you guys later. Bye. Good night. Pugs, how long was that game? Was it like an hour or two?